in this video, we will learn how to use Google Sheet for tracking your e-commerce. Now, Google Sheet is basically Microsoft Excel that, is, that can be used online or offline. What you are seeing here in our screen is a sample of an inventory of an office supply online shop. So we can see the supplies that or the product included in the shop, then the requirements per shop, then the units. Also, this is the price per unit or per item. Then how much or how many we need to buy or stock for our business. Then this is the total price need needed per item. So what we do here is I simply click equals, then I click on the price unit, then as the symbol for multiplication and multiply it to the needed amount needed un needed quantity so that I can know how much I need to how much budget I need for that item. Then click enter. Now you can see that for fifty reams of bond paper I need nine thousand seven hundred fifty pesos. So simply you can also copy the formula so just simply hold shift and drag down until you reach the final product then simply click control plus d so it will copy the formula next we can also include our selling price per unit so this is the amount we will sell our product now we can also make our inventory so as you can see here we have our beginning inventory then the units now for first quarter, we will try to track down our sales. So this is the out where in this we will put the data on how much or how many item we sell per item. So for example, for a band paper, we sold 15 rims. For the first quarter as you can see the sales automatically input how much we make an earning for that quarter so to make this so simply click equals then click on our out or the amount of how we sell per quarter then click asterisk then click on our selling price then enter now, for the first quarter, we have made 3,750 pesos. Now, we can also, again, we can copy the formula by clicking shift, then dragging to the last product, then control plus D. Now, you can see that the balance has been changed. So, this is our balance for our band paper. So, to do that, we, we will click equals, then click for the beginning inventory then click minus sign or dash then click on our out now we can track how many units or product we still have and that's how you use google sheets for e-commerce tracking if you like this kind of video please click like share and subscribe to our youtube channel